I'm flying Virgin Atlantic Economy Delight to Las Vegas. My journey to Heathrow began on the new Elizabeth line. Eventually this will run all the way to Heathrow in one go, but for now I had to change at Paddington. Terminal 3 was a short underground walk from Heathrow Central train station. Virgin flights use check-in zone A. It was quite a check-in, although I'm told earlier in the day had been very busy. From check-in, an escalator led to security, and then through duty-free shopping to the departure lounge. The gate was announced about an hour ahead of departure. It was gate 19 on the far pier, which was said to be a 20 minute walk. I timed the walk at just under five minutes. The flight was on a seven-year-old Boeing 787-9 aircraft, registration GV Who, called Mystery Girl. As I have gold status with Virgin, I was able to board alongside upper class passengers. Economy class was split across two cabins in a 3-3-3 configuration. There are 156 standard economy seats and 36 extra legroom economy delight seats. I was in seat 51K. The seat width was 17 inches. The distance between rows or pitch was 34 inches and the seat recline was 5 inches. This compared to a pitch of 31 inches for the standard economy seats. There was a good amount of legroom and space for a bag under the seat. There was a USB charging port below the screen. Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment, but first we're going to show you a safety film and we'd like you to give it your full attention. The flight pushed back about 45 minutes behind schedule and taxied to runway 27 left. Let me know what you think of the review, like, subscribe and leave a comment.
The flight time to Las Vegas was scheduled at just over 10 hours. There was an announcement that drinks would only be available during service and not from the galley. Shortly after takeoff, the drinks trolley did come around offering complimentary alcoholic beverages. Then the food trolley arrived with a choice of chicken or a cheese pasta. The chicken dish was in a creamy mashed potato sauce with carrots and peas. It tasted slightly better than it appeared. This was followed by a small chocolate pot. Wine in a can was also offered. There were four bathrooms for economy passengers, situated between the two cabins. Two of the bathrooms had baby changing mats. The entertainment system included a good range of movies and TV box sets. Although the headphones weren't very good quality. Wi-Fi was also available to purchase, with a messaging only package costing £3 and a more comprehensive package costing £30. The drinks trolley came around a few times during the flight. Iced lollies were offered, and later a very tasty cheese and caramelised onion toasty. One issue during the flight were groups of passengers congregating in the aisles to talk. Afternoon tea was served 90 minutes prior to landing. It consisted of a couple of small sandwiches, a scone with cream and jam, and a small lemon sponge cake. Towards the end of the flight, a storm around Las Vegas caused some turbulence. We came in to land on runway 19 left and taxied to the E-Gates. We arrived about 15 minutes behind schedule. If you liked the review, please subscribe and then try out one of these videos.